Welcome Gemini students to class today on this Wednesday the 26th. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope you've had a good week so far and hope you're ready to jump right into today's notes. Now, please listen carefully. What I say you're responsible for. Here we go. You will have a quiz on Friday. Please be ready for it, guys. On Thursday, I will give you all the information you need to prepare for this quiz. Quiz on Friday. At this time, please stop. Make sure your name is on your homework, and please turn it in. This is from Monday, okay? There was no class yesterday. Page 203, 9 through 23, 25, 27, and 29. Okay? Incomplete. I don't think we have any. I'll check real quick here. Um... I don't have it here. Okay, um, there are no incomplete, so moving on. Um, now today, we're going to take a quiz, and we're going to take notes today, okay? I hope you studied for your quiz, guys. The video today is about medians and centroids of triangles. We will also look at one theorem today. There's the teaching video, lesson 4.6, only about 25 minutes long, okay? So finish your quiz, do well on it, take notes, and um, that's it for today, all right? Tomorrow we'll work on some homework. Now, let's go over today's quiz. So, Mrs. Duke, um, please pause the video, pass out the quizzes. Once everyone has a quiz on their desk, then restart the video. Okay, numbers one through four are fill in the blanks. Those are the exact ones I told you would be on the um, <clears throat> on the quiz, okay? Number five, you have two congruent angles. What does that tell you about X, okay? Number six, you have two congruent sides. What does that tell you about angle X? Answer those two questions. In other words, what does X equal for five and six? Number seven, when I went over the quiz with you guys on Monday, I told you to know Pythagorean's theorem. So for number seven, use Pythagorean's theorem to find the hypotenuse, okay? If you do it correctly, you will get a whole number, not a decimal. And then number eight, I told you guys to know the distance formula. So using the distance formula, find the distance between those two points. Okay, that's it guys. Um, that's all for today. Please get to work on your quiz and your notes. Have a great day today. Contact me if you have any questions at all.